Did you know that, of all your organs, your intestinal tract is the largest and most important immune organ? That the surface of your intestines is as large as two tennis courts and 200 times the surface of your skin? And that 100,000 times more bacteria live in your intestines than people on Earth? Our intestinal tract is extremely important for the immune system and human health. But how does it actually work? Hundreds of thousands of bacteria populate the intestines. They can be broken down into approximately 400 different strains of bacteria. The health-promoting bacteria are probiotics. The others will make you ill. In a healthy intestinal tract, these bacteria are in a natural balance. The good, probiotic bacteria accomplish two important tasks. First, they control the production of immune cells in the body, for this purpose, they dock onto the intestinal wall and immediately start communicating with it. The intestinal wall works like a little cell factory. If probiotic bacteria contact the intestinal wall, the intestinal cells start the production of immune cells, the so-called T cells. These immune cells are transported through the entire body by the circulatory system, where they fight infections, in particular in the mucous membranes and the respiratory tract where they suppress allergies such as hay fever or asthma. On top of that, good probiotic bacteria also fight undesired bacteria, that is, bacteria that cause disease. A surplus of these harmful bacteria can cause severe bowel disease. The decisive factor with regard to your health is to ensure the natural and sensitive balance of intestinal bacteria. In the daily lives of an increasing number of people, the sensitive balance is acutely at risk. Let's ask an expert, the Australian immunologist and expert for probiotics, Professor Robert Clancy. Professor Clancy, why do the intestinal bacteria become unbalanced and why does this make us ill? The imbalance is an outcome of modern living, with its excessive hygiene in early childhood and bad habits in later life, such as stress, smoking and drinking. It can be made worse by antibiotic treatment and by having a family history of allergies. The consequence of the imbalance is that the immune system fails to develop properly, which leads to a risk of infections, especially in the airways and the gut. There is also an increased risk of developing allergies, such as hay fever and asthma. Today, we can correct this bacterial imbalance in our gut by taking probiotic preparations, which contain good bacteria. They work by driving the immune cells in the gut wall. These cells then travel by the bloodstream to all parts of our body. These important cells conduct the immunological orchestra and make certain that the gut and our lungs are working at their very best to prevent infections and serious allergies. Of particular influence in our modern stressful world are virus infections which cause fatigue and can affect our performance. This sequence of events can be prevented by probiotics. So, a balanced intestinal flora is important for our health. However, many are already ill, as demonstrated by these figures. Between 1911 and 1991, the number of people suffering from allergies has increased 11-fold. These days, every fourth or fifth adult in Germany suffers from some type of allergy, approximately 20 million people. What can we do so that harmful bacteria do not run rampant in the bowels? How can we regain and secure the sensitive balance? Researchers have realized that people can live healthier lives if they regularly take probiotic bacterial strains. For decades, medical practitioners have been prescribing probiotic products to prevent and treat many diseases. If we want to support our health with probiotic products, these must, however, meet several key criteria. In order to positively influence the intestinal flora, a probiotic product must contain a sufficient number of bacteria. From a medical point of view, at least 1 billion are required per application. However, not only the number of bacteria per application plays a role, but also the fact that the probiotic bacteria must reach the destination, the intestinal tract, unharmed. In this context, their passage through the stomach is critical. Gastric and bile acids are an extremely harsh environment for probiotics. A protective coating around the probiotic bacteria can help. A so-called microencapsulation, the patented form of which is used by several companies, significantly boosts the survival rate. 
This raises the bioavailability of probiotic bacteria. Apart from these two conditions, the type of bacterial strains is of particular importance. The intestinal flora consists of many different bacterial strains. A single bacterial strain is therefore hardly able to restore the complex balance of the intestinal flora. Products containing combinations of a host of different strains are clearly more beneficial. If all these conditions, 1 billion bacteria per application, protective microencapsulation, and a combination of different bacterial strains are met. Then, probiotics can, if used sensibly, represent an important contribution to the health of the entire family. Let's summarize. Probiotics have been tried and tested many times over in an increasing number of allergies for the activation of the immune system after treatment with antibiotics and in connection with chronic bowel disease. Trust probiotics. Your key to better health.